This is absolutely remarkable what has come out overnight. Yeah, there's so many bombshells which have mm. come out uh, mm. overnight and so many intimate details mm. which you just would not expect yeah. a member of the royal family to share. I mean, I mean, many people are making the point that they wouldn't even share these intimate details about how you lost virginity, etc., with your f close friends, let mm. alone the world, mm. in a book that everybody can read in 16 different languages. Yeah. Prince Harry clearly has lots of anger going on. Um, and particularly towards uh, the royal family, the way he, he thinks his brother treated him. But he says in the interview with ITV that he's done to promote this memoir that he wants to reconcile, that he wants his brother back, he wants his father back. And yet, at the same time, he's revealed personal private moments and mm. conversations he has had with his nearest and dearest. So I think... It, he's really going to struggle to make the two work together. Uh, surely a massive, massive barrier, probably the biggest barrier to that reconciliation he seems, or he appears to want, is he tried to inter interfere in his father marrying Camilla. Yeah, it's that, that was a big point. So this was back in 2005 before um, Charles and Camilla married. It was talking about the first meetings. Now, Prince Harry claims that him and William both were willing to accept Camilla uh, into the family because they could see how much they ma uh, she made Charles happy. But they drew a line at wanting Charles to marry Camilla. They begged, according yeah, to begged. Prince Harry, um, the, that Charles should not marry Camilla, which clearly did happen. Camilla has now, is now, of course, the Queen Consort. She has very much proven herself in the eyes of the public. Opinion, public opinion polls, the latest one, shows her um, in much more favourable light than the Duke and Duchess of Sussex currently are. She has done great work with, uh, 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 with um, domestic violence and, mm. and, and lots of charity work that she has done. Um, but you're right, it, it's clearly a point which he's, he's airing dirty laundry from... 2005, so over, well over a, a decade ago, um, into this public domain. He's bringing it all back to the yes. surface. And the revelation that has certainly got viewers speaking this morning has been picked up on the front page of many of the papers is this declaration that he killed 25 Taliban soldiers uh, whilst he was in Afghanistan. I mean, for a man who is so obsessed with security and always talking about his family's security and needing security, I mean, is he not just putting a target on his back and his family's back to to make these kind of revelations. Yeah, many people are making that point this morning, especially he describes the people he did kill as chess pieces taken off a board as well. Um, now, if you bear in yeah. mind that Salman Rushdie had a fatwa put on him for writing a book, this, this is insane. Prince Harry, as you, as you said earlier, is very obsessed with security. He no longer gets police protection funded by UK taxpayers. And clearly by declaring, almost bragging, some people are making arguments as what he's doing, um, that he killed 25 Taliban insurgents in Afghanistan during his second tour. He did two tours of Afghanistan. Um, I think perhaps speaks volumes. He does have a US security team, private protection team in the United States. Um, but clearly some people are worried that it has made him more of a target because he has revealed this detailed. And it's a massive taboo, as we understand it in the army, to talk about how many kills you have.